I think it's safe to say that free agency has been going just a little slowly this offseason. I mean, am I really going to make a video about Drew Pomeran signed to the San Francisco Giants today? So I figured for today's video, let's have a little bit of fun. Let's play a game online. We're on cut4.com, which actually has a bunch of awesome like quizzes, articles, all that stuff. So if you haven't seen cut4.com, go check it out. But I saw something that caught my eye that actually has to do with MLB free agency, the 2019 offseason. It's called, can you guess the free agent based on his resume? So essentially what it's going to do is going to give us like a resume as if the dude's applying for a job. It's going to give us background, work experience, everything's gonna be a little bit vague you're gonna have to read it you're gonna have to think and you get to decide what player it is so if this is stuff you guys like to see on the channel you want to see me do more of it leave a like on this video best way to show your support subscribe if you're new and you enjoy the content we have baseball every day it may not be news because you know someday there's no news but we will be doing something baseball oriented on this channel every single day so if you like that subscribe to the channel and get in the comment section down below give me some other suggestions of games or quizzes that i could try out and if i use yours i'll give you a shout out so it gives you a little more incentive and don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram at giraffe nick mark links in the description down below. I'm posting about baseball over there, so it's a great way to interact. So we're over on cut four here. Of course, my computer is this way, so you're going to be seeing my face looking over here. And we're going to get it started right off the bat looking at the first resume here. There's no timer here, so we can take our time. But we've got born in Pensacola, Florida, but moved to Mobile, Alabama junior year of high school. Off the bat, no idea who that could possibly be. Played football, basketball, and baseball. Alabama Gatorade player of the year as a senior. So he was a football player, a basketball player, and a baseball player. Interesting. Work experience, Major League Baseball pr player. He made his debut in 2010. Responsibilities include diving for grounders, growing out mullets, swinging up, calling out the haters on Twitter from time to time. Interesting. Okay. Um, the mullets has thrown me off a little bit and calling out haters on Twitter has thrown me off a little bit. I don't know many baseball players that do go crazy on Twitter besides Trevor Bauer, but we'll continue on. Actor on History Channel's Vikings. Uh, really? Responsibilities included pretending to be a Viking named Haskold. See, now I would think this is Noah Syndergaard, but one, not a free agent. And two, I think he was on Game of Thrones, not Vikings. He might've even been on both, but you know, Noah Syndergaard is like a Norse god. Accomplishments, came up as a catcher in the minors, but won a league MVP elsewhere on the diamond. Three-time All-Star. Okay, I know who it is now. I know who it is. Came up as a catcher with the Oakland Athletics. He won an MVP for the Toronto Blue Jays. We're gonna finish this off here. References, he does everything. He hits for power. He gets on base, he plays defense. There's just a lot of things to like about him as a player. Rob Ventura, the player's gonna be Josh Donaldson, which of course we see here is an option. Boom, Josh Donaldson, and it is Josh Donaldson, one for one. So you're gonna see, I'm not gonna look at the options until I'm done going through the entire resume, just to make it a little bit more difficult for myself. Grew up in Las Vegas, Nevada, the younger of two brothers. Father was an iron worker, graduated high school at age 16. Oh, um, Bryce Harper. I don't need, uh, do I even need to read the rest? 2012, he came up. Responsibilities include playing baseball, hitting taters, flipping bats, and hair, rocking a fun beard, annoying grumpy fans who don't like joy. That is true. Bryce Harper does annoy fans who don't like joy. Get a lot of old men screaming at the clouds saying, get off my lawn. Longest home run in Tropicana Field history, Golden Spikes Award winner. Yeah, this is going to be Bryce Harper. Rookie of the year, NL MVP, six-time All-Star. Barry Bonds, Yasiel Puig. We scroll down. What do you know? It's Bryce Harper, Manny Machado, Jed Lowry, or Andrew McCutcheon. Uh, yeah, Bryce Harper... Bang, two for two. Uh, somebody stop me, I'm too good. All right, player number three. I read the first line and I already know who it is, but we'll finish it. From Hialeah, Florida, brother-in-law also plays in MLB, committed to the University of Miami, but elected to sign a professional contract instead. Manny Machado, just, just saying, it's Manny Machado, he's from Florida. Yonder Alonzo's his brother-in-law, he's on the White Sox, which I think Manny Machado will be going to. I didn't know he was committed to play at the University of Miami, but it makes sense, he's from that area, he was obviously a disgusting player in high school. Imagine playing Manny Machado in high school, can you imagine? Work experience includes being a Major League Baseball player, responsibilities include using and maintaining a rocket launcher of a right arm, swinging almost exclusively for the fence, is running hard from time to time, making aggressive fashion choices that other MLB players should replicate. Yeah, Manny Machado does have an interesting fashion sense. Four-time All-Star, two-time Gold Glove, one-time Platinum Glove, blah, 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 despised by the entire city of Milwaukee in about a week's time. Yeah, it's Manny Machado. Boom, three for three, let's go. All right, number four, we've got a different one here. Didn't play high school baseball until his junior year because he wanted to play with friends instead. I know Lorenzo Cain didn't initially play baseball in high school, but of course he's not a free agent, so he can't be him. This player was also undrafted out of high school, drafted out of Chipola Junior College in Florida after his sophomore year. I actually had a coach back when I was like 13 or 14. His son played at Chipola. There's a lot of pros that have come through there. You got Jose Bautista, Russell Martin, to name a few. I played with the kid that went there too. Work experience, 2012. So it can't be Jose Bautista. It can't be Russell Martin because they've been up before that. Responsibilities include battling through Tommy John surgery, throwing baseballs in the desert. Patrick Corbin? 
This is who I'm thinking. It's Patrick Corbin. Let's see. Youth basketball referee, winter 2013. Spent offseason officiating youth basketball games in and around Syracuse, New York. I know he's from New York, Patrick Corbin. Tossed exactly 200 innings in 2018. Two-time All-Star, first-time All-Central New York as a senior. Best slider I've ever seen. Todd Helton puts it right there. He just, he put the stamp of approval. That's going to be Patrick Corbin. And of course, when you look at the names, we got Ivaldi, Lynn, Keiko, Patrick Corbin, four for four. Let's get it. Fifth of eight players here. Basically the best high school player in Connecticut this century. One Gatorade player of the year named Cape Cod League MVP in 2008. When I think of Connecticut baseball, all that comes to my mind is George Springer. So I'm immediately thrown off right now. It's not George Springer because he's not a free agent. Who could this be? Came up in 2012, so he's another one of these youngish players. Responsibilities include patrolling the outfield like a bat out of hell, crashing into walls, grass stain accumulation, clandestine acquisition of bases from opposing firms. Who could this be? Who could this be? Let's go to the accomplishments here because I don't know who we're talking about. One all-star game appearance, one gold glove, second player ever to lead Notre Dame baseball in batting average in three consecutive seasons, has overcome breaking his right elbow twice, played with Fernando Rodney. Played with Fernando Rodney. Rodney played on the Rays. It's not Denard Span. He didn't come up in 2012. Played on the Mariners. I can't think of anybody on the Mariners that's going to be a bat out of hell stealing bases. I guess we'll continue on. References. Just a complete player. Every skill he has is a plus. Plus arm, plus speed. Life off his bat. He helps in all those ways. Plus he's a good teammate. Tony La Russa. Who could this possibly be? I know I could look at the names, but that makes it too easy. Connecticut baseball player who's a, who's all around really good, who's a free agent this offseason, came up in 2012. I'm trying to think, AJ Pollock? AJ Pollock? That's gonna be my guess. And the options are McCutcheon, AJ Pollock, Nick Markakis, and Adam Jones. It's gotta be AJ Pollock, right? It is AJ Pollock. Okay, I did not know he's from Connecticut. Man, at one point you had him and Springer coming out of Connecticut. That's pretty good, not a huge baseball state. But that's good for the state of Connecticut. Jersey boy, so it's close. But AJ Pollock, okay. That's crazy that Tony La Russa gave him that kind of stuff. He's a very good player, but I don't know about like... Okay. Ooh, this guy's got a very small written resume here, but let's get going through it. Gonna probably have to zoom in for you guys on the video. Grew up in Florida, drafted out of high school 11th overall. Who is calling me? Grew up in Florida, drafted out of high school 11th overall, has been amazing at baseball practically his whole life. I mean, that would make me want to think Manny Machado, but that's not the case. Major League Baseball player, June 2009 he came up. Responsibilities include hitting the baseball with lightning quick hands, general veteran leadership, Instagram story curator, being the face of a franchise. Okay, so Instagram, I know that Andrew McCutcheon is pretty active on Instagram. Was 2009 when he came up and is he from Florida? Was he drafted 11th overall? I know he's a great veteran leader. He was the face He was the face of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Let's continue. Guests on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Responsibilities include answering questions from the queen of daytime television and proposing to future wife. Oh, I didn't know any player proposed to his wife on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Interesting little tidbit of fact. World Baseball Classic Champion, five-time All-Star, four-time Silver Slugger, one Gold Glove, one MVP award. And I think that pretty much sums it up. It's gotta be Andrew McCutcheon, right? And my options here are Adam Jones, Brian Dozier, Andrew McCutcheon, Daniel Murphy. It was either Adam Jones or McCutcheon, but it's gotta be McCutcheon. And it is six for six thus far. I'm too good. All right, on to number seven here, second to last, starting it off from Houston, Texas, named to Texas All-State senior year of high school. Not sure who this could be off the top of my head from Texas, not 100% not sure. Major League Baseball player, August 2011. Responsibilities include pitching whenever, wherever, no matter the circumstances, not wearing sleeves in cold weather, throwing cheddar. Tommy John Patient, I don't need to read anymore. This is Nathan Nivaldi. Oh, you know what it is? I didn't know he's from Texas. I think he went to the exact same high school as Nolan Ryan. Nathan Nivaldi, boom, Nathan Nivaldi. Seven for seven, going for the perfect 100%, the clean sweep. Let's do it. From Huntsville, Alabama, unconformed reports that two words were high fastball. I'm guessing the first two words. I think they forgot a word there. Work experience, May 2010 to present. Responsibilities include pitching whenever, wherever, no matter the circumstances, not wearing cold sleeves in cold weather, throwing cheddar, being made fun of by opposing fans for his bizarre posture. Hmm, made fun of by opposing fans for his bizarre posture, not wearing sleeves in cold weather, throws cheddar, pitching whenever, wherever, high fastball. I'm confused. He's a beard haver, but that's not Dallas Keuchel. He doesn't throw super hard. Beard haver, responsibilities do not include grooming, maintaining, or trimming said beard. Okay, so I'm thinking of players with a beard. We got Craig Kimbrell, who it very well could be. Dallas Keuchel, it's not going to be. He doesn't throw hard. He also doesn't really pitch in cold weather. I mean, it's got to be Craig Kimbrell, right? Fourth lowest ERA ever, minimum 500 innings, National League Rookie of the Year, World Series Champion, seven-time All-Star. He's the closest thing to a right-handed Billy Wagner that we'll ever see from a non-miscout. 
That has to be Craig Kimbrell. Okay, so it's either Andrew Miller, Kimbrell, Ottavino, or Joe Kelly. It's got to be Craig Kimbrell. Going for the 100%. 8 out of 8. 8 out of 8. You know what's good. I'm not getting any wrong. So that was actually a fun little video. Something different on the channel than just the monotonous talking about rumors every single day. Because there's honestly nothing to talk about. Like I said, Drew Pomerantz to the Giants. Woo! So if you guys do enjoy these videos, you want to see more of this kind of stuff on the channel, you know what to do. Leave a like on it. That would be the best way to show your support. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you enjoy the content. And get in that comment section down below. Give me some suggestions on future videos you want to see me do. And if I use yours, I'll give you a shout out. Remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DraftNickMark. Links in the description down below. And that's going to be it for this video. YouTube recommends you watch this one right here, as well as this is my most recent upload talking about the Baseball Hall of Fame yesterday. So if you didn't see any of those, click through those. Otherwise, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.